Now, if you told me Puss in Boots 2 The Last Wish, which is a sequel to a pretty mediocre Shrek spinoff from, like, way back when, if you told me that film would be one of the most enchanting and captivating animated films I've seen in recent memory, then I'd frankly call you a liar. But if there's one thing DreamWorks Animation is capable of, it's surprising you, and oh my goodness, this film is just so, so great. So here's a quick synopsis. Um, the uh, titular puss is a cocky and daring bandit slash hero who lives pretty dangerously. Like, you know, he's a cat, he has nine lives, um, it's kind of like, you know, a little thing the Shrek universe likes to do. Um, so he's a cat, he's got nine lives, so, you know, he can afford to live dangerously. Uh, however, he loses his eighth life, and um, now he's just down to the one. However, he then discovers that there exists a magical area where he can wish for one thing. And so he goes off in search of this place to wish back his nine lives, hence the title, uh, The Last Wish. The first and most obvious strength of this movie is its incredible animation. Um, it's definitely taking a lot of inspiration from Into the Spider-Verse, and it, it really shows. This movie looks just drop-dead gorgeous. The way characters move is so dynamic and distinct, it is genuinely some of the most jaw-dropping animation I have seen in a while. And, you know, now animation is just one thing, but, you know, film is a multimedia kind of art form. Um, you have to consider music, sound design, writing, and uh, fortunately, this film actually delivers an extremely investing narrative about, you know, life and death. It's surprisingly poignant and actually pretty mature. Um, there are depictions of blood lots of violence and the uh, puss goes through a panic attack there are several uh hilarious uh but still brutal on-screen deaths to chop the heck out of this fight just the wrong <laughs> there is one character i do want to talk about and to me he is the best part of this film and that is the wolf i'm not going to spoil much about the wolf he's only in the movie for seven minutes but he makes every single second count. His design, his animation, just, he is so haunting and genuinely terrifying. If, you know, you were initially turned off by, you know, oh, it's a DreamWorks kids movie, it's gonna be childish or immature, and like, you know, I thought that too, um, because it, it's puss in boots too. When you hear those words, what do you expect? But please, please, please quell those misconceptions and see this film as soon as possible. It, it is just, it is one of my favorite films of the last year, uh, up there with everything, everywhere, all at once. And if you know anything about that movie, uh, that is very high praise. So yes, one of my favorite movies of the past few years, uh, <laughs> probably one of my favorite animated movies of all time. So please check this movie out. You will not be disappointed.